when their team isn't close enough behind them. Ooh. So a hero like Gushin is quite a thing, but with a Nether Realm now, that's gonna make it hard. Now, two outcomes I'm expecting. Either Nether Realm, it gets popped. Gushin says no, blows off. Go through a Nether Realm, especially early on. And if you focus on the Nether Realm on, on popping it, who is it towards? Ooh, the no two-man five forbid and eat and drop oh! low forbid with the flicker, but Marl picks up the first blood. Doesn't allow him to get out of there. Because if you look at the emblems right here, Team Lilgun, they understand that they have to maneuver around a lot of crowd control. Three people going in for the agility and for Ethan with the Wilderness Blessing as well. Ah, oh, Johnson's Spatial Migration gonna get the combo onto Forbid, but not enough damage to finish off. Oh. And here comes Exora, he uses the Red oh. Ring, doesn't get the kill on Fangor. That's gonna go over to Aizen, but he's dropping real low. I gonna know. force the Marl to actually jump out of there. Penalty Zone wasted. Here comes Castle, though, flickers in, gets the stun. But again, not enough damage, no level four. He can't do anything with this. Ethan, he could punish, but he himself, not level four yet. Still gonna chase him to the ends of the earth, though. Oh. Ooh, Troublemaker! He finds Exora, steals the purple, and gets out like a maniac. Where does it go for the jungle right there too, man? With Team Wilgans just over chasing, oh. but now they're going for a fight again. Yeah, that's gonna be Violet Requiem on the eyes and beautiful combo, not allowing the Terizla to do anything. Marl sickly going to last. Some people like to actually. Ooh, oh, Exora nearly dead, but Netherrealm saves him, keeps him alive for now. They get the pick off on the Troublemaker in exchange for the Martis. Bangor gonna get picked off. That's gonna go to a double. Kill as Bebex finally punishes Umbrella. It's scary here. Hilm Lil Gun gonna be the ones in position. Castle gonna be holding on to that final slash, waiting for the best combination timing with the Minuan Fury. Gets it, goes for it, pushes Exora out of position. Ice and penalty zone misses. Nether Realm comes out, turtle dropping 40%. The two man fatal migration. Sexora has picked up. Turtle is secured by Marl. Double kill for Troublemaker and a killing spree. Slash down and start something against Lil Gun. Get them to commit. Troublemaker though, he's looking for the chance, he swaps Bebex, oh. the flicker, will it save him? Corrosive Strike, it's a torn apart memory, they trade for each other, but Bebex gets the shutdown, and now Sexora <laughs> is on a decimate streak, picks off the cow, chasing down Black March. Castle looking to get the defense here, flickers in, stuns up Lil Gun to make sure that the goal lane's no longer threatened, but it's Castle himself who's in danger, he's regening a lot, but he's gonna eventually fall, penalty zone, finds Black March over the wall, Nether Realm allowing Lil Gun to continue to pursue and Marl will be able to keep his gold laner safe at least. That's okay. See, when they use the Nether Realm reactively properly, they do come out ahead. In the turtle fight earlier, they're forced to use it a bit early, but look at his play! Troublemaker! Um, he finds the Violet Requiem. Somehow Troublemaker actually getting a 1v1 kill onto Forbid. In the meantime, though, bot lane Marl dropping real low. Misses the Decimate, and Zexora gets picked off as a result. I don't know. I might get one it out. N Nether Realm used quite early wow. again. Minwin Fury finds one. That's gonna be Nether Realm used up. But Fangor dropping low. Zexora, can he get the Decimate? Yes, he does. That's gonna be a dead cow on the side of Umbrella Squad. And now Team Lilgun are looking for more. That's the double kill for Zexora. He spots Castle. He wants it but he's under the tower, so he should be able to get out. Torn apart memory, throwing oh. him real low, just one hit from death. Marl, Violet Requiem, trying to zone out Lil Gun, oh. and Troublemaker goes in! Four man Petrify picks off Bebex, but there's just too much help here. That's a killing spree for Zexora. Anybody else? This is a scary cushion right here. Lilgun has to watch his positioning as we see Castle engage on the Forbid. Final slash. Is the Nether Realm gonna come out? Yes, it will. Right on time for the Minuet Fury. Oh. But Marl in the back line. He's looking for Violet Requiem. Forbid gonna be able to escape. Bangor gonna use his very own Minuet Fury now. Team Lilgun forced on the defensive. Troublemaker looking for the angle. Oh. He jumps in. Gets the three man damage on the Shadow Blade Slaughter. And they're looking for one more. Zexora not able to escape. Troublemaker with the shutdown. And a triple kill! He's huge. He's too big, man! Dive. Let's see if they're gonna go for it. Oh, oh. here comes Castle Flickers and Final Slash finds three! Bebex is gone! Forbid is gone! That's a mega double kill! For Troublemaker once again, the trouble continues for Team Lil Gun. Crystal is open, Minwin Fury stops them in their track. Troublemaker is getting oh. four! Triple kill for the Gushan! Maniac! Give it to him! Give it to him! Can he get eaten? The crystal's wide open. He's oh. looking for it. He jumps in. Final Slash! Can he get oh. the No! But they get the game, so that is worth it anyway. Oh my god, I literally look back and he's just like, dude! <laughs>
Dude, I didn't mean to take it. The troublemaker's looking over at Maul like, bruh, my savage. That was a great game coming in from the Umbrella Squad. We haven't seen a Gusion in so long, and once we do, what do we witness? Absolute destruction. Astro Meteor, or unless if level one you decide to go for the Astro Spear, that works too. But man, oh man, too busy with my Hilda means you can't invade me when I am on Leomord. Wait, hang on, what is going on? Where is the Joy gonna go? Is this a mid Joy? She can tank more damage, deal some more damage as well, and we're seeing a bit of it right here. Ooh, the Flicker penalty zone onto Ethan, forces the Flicker out. Marl secures the turtle easily, oh. and Sexora is picked off. Troublemaker with the first blood, but he gets punished himself. Vengeance not gonna save him from the hands of Ethan. Oh, that's so... Completely, you know, commit all in to be different. Ooh, Sexora with the Fracture, as well as the Astral Spear, finding Troublemaker. Baker, finally getting some closer distance against get Sixora, but at the very least, he also has to worry about getting blasted by 4-bit every once in a while. That's a lot of damage as oh. well. Now with a half HP, going to try and regen back up, but look at Ethan, keep your eyes on this man. Aizen very far forward, Astral Echo going to spot things oh. out. Already Demonic Force used up, that's going to be Violet Requiem in the back line. Turtle secured by Team Lil Gun, and they're going to grab Troublemaker and Marl on top of it. Lil Gun rushing him down, a beautiful flicker by Ethan over the wall to get out of the clutches of Fangor and Castle as well. Everything is falling in place for Lil Gun. And making it, oh, Castle Whoa. in trouble. He gets a three-man penalty zone, but he's still stuck by himself. Here comes Marl, though, coming in with a Phantom Steed, dropping Ethan real low. Aizen being an absolute nuisance with the Demonic Force. The snipe, unfortunately, going to miss from Bebex, as well as the Spatial Migration. Umbrella Whoa. Squad, beautiful timings here. As Trollmaker comes in, he has his eyes on the goal lane, but Bebex with the outplay, walking in the opposite direction, not allowing him to make full advantage of his ultimate. Trollmaker wow. still playing this risky. He sees Ethan, he wants him. But he jumps away and Aizen flickers forward to get the punish. That was Wild. as disposable as the Arlot was in the previous game. Uh, Ooh, Rage of Migration gonna find the Terrorist right into the Bennett's Rage and Oof. Castle is uh, gone. The castle walls have fallen to the hands of Lil Gun. And that's also a tier two. Oh, really difficult for him because the early game has been pretty much passed as we transition into mid towards late. And Fangor is just struggling. Oh, oh! Ethan with the flicker spatial migration. I have never seen that before. Picks off Castle once again. Link and you'll miss it. That is the speed of which I, I don't think they're aware that Fangor is scouting this out, but it's still not a really big issue here for Lil Gun. He will get started on the Bebex. Spatial Migration, gonna oh. find the Hilda. Troublemaker oh. looking for the die, but he won't be able to connect it. Vengeance Pop <gasps> won't save him. Fracture destroys him, and Black March is now being chased down, but he gets the crossbow of Tang. Not enough damage yet, though. So Zexora gets the double kill. Spatial Migration dodges the penalty zone. Bebex oh. actually flickers forward on the Fangor. Angor get punished for it. Astral Spear won't finish him off. Aizen being chased down by Marl in the back line. A crazy, messy fight. But Umbrella Squad oh. now actually winning out inconsistent damage. So really big spells from a, some big players from the side of Team Lil Gun. The Troublemaker just got immediately nuked in the beginning of that fight, though. And now Zora. Zora, he's looking oh. for Marl. He gets it. Mega kill for the Nolan as he just makes out like a bandit. That was disgusting, man. That's a lot of damage. And now the Lord, can it go to the hands of Lil Gun? No contest available for our Umbrella Squad. Despite that win. Able to escape quite easily. In the meantime, Lord crashing up top lane. Two man penalty zone onto Ethan and Bebek. And Marl is coming in to jump oh. on the opportunity. Crossbow of Tang, follow up. Bebex is gone. Ethan will follow in quick succession. Umbrella Squad punishes. Need to give that opening, that hole. You can't create it yourself, but you can inform people who can Ooh. get in those spots. Fangor gonna get spotted out. Walks into the wrong neighborhood. And Ethan sets up the ambush. Now Castle gonna be targeted by Zexora and Aizen popped down by the Fracture. Unstoppable streak for Zexora. The Lord is now within sight. Troublemaker gonna be getting his electrifying beats oh. off of... Ooh, nice flicker from Bebex in the opposite direction. Troublemaker now in a lot of trouble. Beautiful spatial migration. Gets the knockout, gets the kill. Team Lilgun now have the total numerical superiority and the Lord is dead. They got top and mid at the same time and delay on the bottom side. That is honestly 
so many minions. They oh. already found Troublemaker. The spatial migration hitting his target every time. Fangor trying to dive onto Zexora, but he's dropping real low himself with the Dark Sword. Penalty Zone onto three members. Will this be enough? No, Bebex already has the double oh. kill, and Marl can do nothing but run in. Even the crossbow of Tang isn't going to be enough with the Wind of Nature already popped down by Bebex and Black March. He tries to dash away. He will just barely make it back to base, but he and Castle are the only survivors. Name that one. Castle is picked up for bid with the killing spree, and the crystal is wide open. We are going to game number three. Woo! Game of three coming in for these boys. Little Gal bounce back after a devastating game number one. It looks like they've kind of gotten their acts back together. The Mongolians, man, strike back with a vengeance. I don't think there's anything much better than that right now because we're talking about like disengage Ooh. for your team. Holy cow. Oh my Literally, goodness. That's a combo, all right. That's disgusting. They, they, oh, whoever gets stun lock is going to die for Ahead, sure. if he has space to really maneuver in the big team fights, that is where uh, Umbrella Squad can get the win. Castle already targeted heavily. Aizen securing the first blood easily with a spatial migration. Over the side of the team low gun here, but let's have a look at the overall envelopes while Aizen gets free hits off of Fangor. Well, Aizen has the basic emblem right now, so he is happy to just trade in HP bars, but look Ooh, at this! Oh, Zexora again with the follow-up onto Eater! And he's gonna be punishing that Grok straight away. Castle just coming in to watch his teammate die again. Dude, who is calling the shots from the side of Team Lil Gun here? If it was Aizen, oh my oh. goodness, he almost made the play with Zexora! Ooh, Troublemaker now, they're getting chased down. And this is the what he does right now. It's very scary to put yourself in these positions to try and fake it out. Well, comes on in electric fighting oh. beats. Zora secures the turtle. Castle with the penalty zone catches two, stuns them up, but he's now completely huh? abandoned by his team. We're all coming in a bit too late, but he should get the kill on the Zora. Oh. But they'll toss him as the atmosphere oh. finds him. The flicker from Bebex doesn't quite follow up, but Aizen is there to clean up the mess with a double. Definitely kill. a bit of a vendetta happening right here between the EXP. Oh, oh, oh. In the meantime, though, a beautiful stun in the final slash for Bid flickers the safety, and the Minu and Fury catches out Troublemaker and Mango, who are both dispatched in instant success. The full barrage comes out, but Bebex is exposed, so Black Mars <laughs> will punish his positioning. Marl able to escape through the back line as well. You gotta be careful about that, man. Yeah, I mean, right now he is starting to scale up, right? Black Marsh, uh, Marsh has two kills, one assist in the back. I'm sure that he's already completed at least. Wait, hold on. Wow, Castle's just getting bursted down here instantly. Taken out Astral Echo, Scott's out Marl as Aizen zones out Black March. Ethan oh. somehow surviving on literally no health. He'll be able to walk out of there. Sango, I don't know what you're doing here, man. That's not where you want to be. Wall charge, not even going to finish before Bebex gets that kill. Troublemaker, though, still in position. He's got final slash stolen. He's going to reveal himself, going for Bebex, but it's not going to be enough. Oh. Turtle secured. He gets the stun into the full barrage. And Zexora with the killing spree. Forbid, going to be sacrificed. Aizen actually killing Black March in bot lane 1v1. Oh. Zone cancels the engage. Marl able to walk yo, away yo, because gonna. of this, but Zexora still re engaging and setting up the kill. Let Umbrella Squad take the initiative and then look to punish. Ooh. Oh, but speaking of punish, Zexora gonna find Fangor once again. Ryla Requiem oh with a three God. man knockup into the penalty zone. Full barrage though, never <laughs> punished. Team Lil Gun are destroying Umbrella Squad, chasing down their members. One by one by one! That's gonna be a wipeout for the side of Team Lil Gun! Oh, it looks like Bebex has I found... to have, and Aizen can just zone everyone out. Of Whoa! <laughs> what for? No, he was like, I want Castle. <laughs> Separate him away. Mara coming in from the back line, Lord dropping low. Zexora's controlling it. Ethan with the Minion and Fury into the final oh! barrage. And four! Oh! Steals the Lord away! Castle gets picked off, but Umbrella Squad have already gotten the prize they wanted. Lil Gun looking for the punish. Can they find oh! it? They get one! But the final slash pushes him into the tower. Trollmaker steals the right ult. They still somehow lose Black March, but at least. Waiting on Marl's ultimate cooldown to reset once again. So this is a chance for Lil Gun. Castle gonna be quite far out there, but they're still not engaging. Trollmaker flickers oh! in with the final slash. Minwin Fury gonna cancel it out with the Wattar. But the full barrage doing so much damage. Bebex flickers forward. Gets the mega kill, going to dismantle oh. the backline. Black March now in a lot of trouble. He does a good amount of damage, so he pops Aizen's immortality. But the Lord has been just now responding. Is it going to be a three-lane push? Is it going to be a 
brute force dive. There's a lot of ways they can try and go here. With 9k gold advantage, brute force is possible. We'll find out. Final slash Whoa. pushing Castle out of his base. Zexorath in the back line. Wild Charge is oh. not going to cancel this time, but he dies to the tower. And Full Barrage is canceled by Wild Charge. Fangor going to get punished by this, but his job is already done. The rest of Umbrella Strat trying to deal with the Lord in the mid lane. They've already lost one inhibitor. Team Lil Gun going to be looking for more, setting their sights on the top tower. Devex actually really far out here, and Maul is going to oh. capitalize. Pops his immortality, no. and the Troublemaker gets the shutdown! Lil Gun makes a mistake! They're not really snowboarding anymore. Everyone's level 15. Everyone is getting almost full items. Zexora misses his dash over the wall, forced to use Violet Requiem. While Whoa. Charge finds him, the final slash pushes them into the tower. Bangor and Castle get picked off. Full Barrage doing massive damage. Zexora finally falls, but so does Maul. So does Black March. Umbrella Squad are falling one by one once again. Aizen chasing down Troublemaker to make sure that he cannot return to the base. And Valentina trying to do his best to survive the bite time to see if he can keep his team in the game, but Aizen will get that legendary, even taunt him for good measure. Castle, the only one left, three-man penalty zone, but what does it matter? Forbid gets the mega kill, and with a single minion, Team Lil God will wipe out Umbrella Squad and secure their victory. Woo! What a series this has been between these two Competitors, absolutely nasty stuff. GG, well played to Team Lil Gun. Exciting is an understatement, man. The amount of heart attacks us on the desk have experienced in the course of that match. Unreal. What a